You're about to learn the true story of the relationship between Aikido founder Morihei Ueshiba and his Daitoryu teacher, the famous Sokaku Takeda. Sokaku Takeda, a martial arts genius from whom Morihei Ueshiba learned the bulk of his technical repertoire, has often been maligned in mainstream historical accounts and his influence on modern Aikido minimized. Nonetheless, a close examination of the historical record reveals a long, complex relationship between Aikido and Daitoryu that continues through today. However, there is absolutely no doubt that the contributions of Daitoryu have, in a technical sense, clearly influenced most of today's Aikido curriculum. Here is how the story began. One of the milestones in the evolution of Aikido was the meeting of Morihei Ueshiba and Sokaku Takeda in Hokkaido in 1915. Morihei Ueshiba had relocated to a wilderness region in Hokkaido as part of a group of settlers from his native Tanabe three years earlier. The community they would create would be called Shirataki. Only 28 years old on arrival, his prominence was due mainly to being the eldest son of the Taitui-Nit Ueshiba Inoue family unit than any particular career or leadership skills. In fact, one of the motivations of this move to the inhospitable northern island of Hokkaido was to channel the energies of the young male members of the Ueshiba and the Inoue families who were among the settlers. Many years later, Morihei described his first encounter with Sokaku Takeda in these words. About the age of 30, I went to Engaro in Hokkaido. There I met Sokaku Takeda-sensei of Aizu, a teacher of Daito Ryu who taught me for 30 days. While I studied, I felt something like an inspiration. After inviting sensei to my house, I very earnestly pursued the real truth of the martial arts with 15 or 16 of my servants and disciples. Professor Takeda opened my eyes to the real martial arts. This event took place in February 1915, in the dead of the frigid Hokkaido winter in the town of Engaru. So motivated to study with the amazingly skilled Sokaku was the young Ueshiba that he stayed a full month at the inn to undergo intensive training. What is not readily apparent from Morihei's description is that Morihei invited Sokaku to move to Shirataki and stay in his home to teach on an ongoing basis. As Sokaku taught prominent and well-to-do people exclusively, Morihei needed considerable financial backing to carry out his plan. The necessary funding was provided by his father Yoroku and brother-in-law Zenzo Inoue, the latter an extremely wealthy man. This conclusion is supported by the appearance of both names in the payment ledger of Sokaku Takeda and first-hand testimony by Morihei's nephew, Yoichiro, and members of the Inoue family. Sokaku transferred his permanent residence to Shirataki, and Morihei spent the next several years studying Daitoryu Jujutsu under Takeda. The depth of Morihei's study of Daitoryu is reflected in the several entries of his name in Sokaku's student records and an abundance of anecdotal evidence from both Daitoryu and Aikido sources. These years of intensive study of Daitoryu under Sokaku's tutelage reshaped Morihei's thinking about martial arts and led to his decision to seek to become a Daitoryu instructor in his own right. Morihei even went so far as to say that, at least for a time, Sokaku was grooming him as his successor. In December of 1919, upon news of his father's critical condition back in his native Tanabe, Morihei left Shirataki and Hokkaido, never to return. Our next video will continue the fascinating story of Aikido's close connection with Daito Ryu. We'll focus on the inauguration of Morihei Ueshiba's first dojo and the appearance of Sokaku Takeda 
for a lengthy stay in Murihei's home in Ayabe, in the community of the Omoto religious sect. For Aikido Journal, I'm Stanley Prannan.